people we gotta talk about janet uh, i'm sorry we gotta talk about justin timberlake and his apologies to janet jackson and britney spears and i'm here to say well damn justin timberlake it's about damn time you decided to give some damn apologies now i'm not exactly sure you know why you were apologizing to britney spears i'm, I'm you know I, I got a theory in my head but i'm not exactly sure why but i know damn well why you apologizing to janet with your late ass lately johnny come lately it's mighty funny now that people are forcing you to apologize and, and calling you out for what you do for using blacks for your gain all right you was truly on the negro business plan all right take a white man make him sound like a black man you make a million dollars a billion dollars or whatever the hell or you have a career because without us you didn't have shit we gonna call it what it is without timberland you had no music career i'm sorry them them, them boy boy band gang uh uh boy band um music shit that shit went out really really quick that was a that was an era that was good when it was here but it was gonna phase out and everybody your team round you knew all right it was a plan that elvis had it was a plan that a lot of white entertainers had hey justin you to use them negroes enough and now you good too now you done found jesus after drinking all that baby blood but justin timberlake is who i'm talking about right now we gonna call a thing a thing okay without timberlake let's 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 talk let's talk about your albums let's talk about your albums the first solo album uh timberlake did it all right so you know you was sounding black that got you your money the second album future sex love songs timberlake did it without timberlake you wouldn't have had this shit the third album 2020 experience you didn't you still had some black urban sounding songs on there okay but it was it was more white it was more you know on a poppy side i hate to say black white when it comes to music but we just gonna call a thing a thing all right but then i noticed when you wanted to go back to your roots because they always want to go back to their roots for their fourth album man of the woods nobody gave a damn because they don't like you when you're white they like you when you're faux black now let's get to your damn apology all right he said <clears throat> let me use my justin voice well what's, what's a white man voice so i've seen the messages tags and comments and concerns i want to respond i am deeply sorry for the times in my life where my actions contributed to the problem where i spoke out of tune or did not speak up for what was right I understand that I fell short in these moments and many others and benefited from a system that condones misogyny and racism. I specifically want to apologize to Britney Spears and Janet Jackson, Miss Jackson, if you're nasty, both individually because I care for and respect these women. Uh, and I know I feel you care for how you care for and respect Janet when you ripped the titty out at the Super Bowl and said nothing to defend her. You respect her, respect what? Besides the notoriety she brought you to. I also feel compelled to respond in part because everyone involved deserves better. And most importantly, because this is a larger conversation that I wholeheartedly want to be a part of and grow from. No, sir, you're trying to bring some clout to your ass because you got a movie that's coming out. And we don't know. We didn't know no nor care anything about it before then. There's absolutely no reason for you to be speaking out now. If your ass and speak out before you should have took it to the grave. Who The only person you need to be apologizing to is Jessica Biel when you was holding that mixed girl hands on set a couple years back this industry is flawed oh i'm sorry justin you misspelled demonic it sets men especially white men up for success really it's designed this way as a man in a privileged position i have to be vocal about this because of my ignorance i didn't recognize it for all that it was it was happening in my own life but i do not want to ever benefit from others being pulled down again oh you mean now that you have made all your money and your best music days is behind you now you don't want to use a nigga no more now you don't want to use a negro no more but your best music days are behind you justin Oh, you pulling all your albums down, Justin? I'm still going to rock them. I'm just asking. The hell out of here. I have not been perfect in navigating all of this throughout my career. I know this apology is a first step and doesn't absolve the past. I want to take accountability for my own missteps in all of this as well, as well as be a part of a world that uplifts and supports. Now you want to uplift and support instead of being the culture vulture that you have been for the longest. Not to say you ain't talented, not to say you can't dance. I mean, your dancing is all right, all right, but you have been a culture vulture for the longest. And let's, let's just take Janet and uh, breast assist out of it. I still remember that nipple, Janet. I was 11 years old when it happened. All right. 
I saw it on the TV. You know, it wasn't HD back then. But I was like, oh, wow. And then it was gone. And I said, did I see But I thought I would see? I said, damn, she's a singer. But is she a magician? I didn't know if I was watching a football game. Or, mm, let me stop playing. Anyway, I'm just going to say, you, you, Janet has really cute areolas. I'm going to leave it there. Now, back to the apology. Uh, I care deeply about the well-being of the people I love and have loved. I can and do. Uh, I can do better, and I will do better. You can and will do better. How? You can and will do better in what way? Because to me, the only way that you rectify, all right, the damage that you were complicit in, is that you come out and call out the industry for what it does. But you are not going to do that because you. Or building a career as an actor and you still want to work, nor do you want to get death threats like Corey Haim over there or Corey Feldman. One of the Corys. Justin, let's call this shit what it is. Although I'm not exactly sure what you did to Britney, unless you played a role in her breakdown in the media. I do remember, you know, you guys were, like I said, were Mickey Mouse Musketeers. And so you guys went through a lot of trauma together. Trauma bonding is what brought you two together to start dating in what, 98, 99. You know, she she cheated on you. Y'all broke up. You lied about y'all being virgins. Then you went on Howard Stern and said, yeah, I hit it. Now, you didn't have to put it out there. If you was going to stick with the virgin lie, you should have stuck to it. Hell, you should have been like Angela Simmons. All right. You should have stuck. Stuck to the virgin lie and to a baby come out. No baby, no proof as far as I'm damn concerned. But you put her out there like that on Howard Stern. She cheated on you. You didn't necessarily villainize her, but you just never really. I, didn't, I don't really remember you coming to her defense either. Or maybe you did. All right. So I'm not exactly sure. I'm not going to speak on things I don't know. But I know as far as Janet is concerned, when that breast assist came out, which was not a part of the damn plan. And by the way, yes, the, 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 the plan to actually add the ripping of the bra. Yes, it did come last minute. Yes, it did come from Janet team um the managers of the uh, nfl super bowl at the time did not think it was the best idea to be ripping anything off on stage because keep in mind this is live tv and this was 2004 okay and so with that being said, it was something that Janet's team added last minute. As a matter of fact, Janet had an Ecuadorian stylist at the time. Him being Ecuadorian has nothing to do with anything. But I found an interview from 2018 where he was actually saying that, look, I'm under an NDA. I can't tell you much of anything. But what I can say is that I did alter her costume in some way. All right. So I'm going to take that to say that, yes, the, the pulling was planned, but it was supposed to be a red bra there. You got a little too happy touching them black titties. You ripped it too hard. You exposed the whole breast says that was pierced. Oh, it was pierced. I remember now. <laughs> anyway, so you did all that. And did you get banned from CBS? No. Did you, did, did you, you was able to come back years later, do the halftime show and, and, and do exactly what Prince told you not to do in a tribute to him that he would not have approved of. First of all, Prince didn't play. He ain't like other people covering his music like that. Second of all, he didn't want no damn holograms because he said it was demonic. Yet you get up there and do a hologram and say, shout out to Prince. No, no, shout out to whatever demon you was conjuring at that Super Bowl, but it wasn't Prince. Which I want to bring it ass. So, all in all, you went on to have a career. You went on to live your life. You didn't speak out for Janet. You didn't stand up for her when she got villainized for simply showing a titty for two damn seconds on the damn on the damn Super Bowl. All right. Let's talk about CBS for a minute. You know, I didn't report it on them before. Hey, Vicon, you know, let's talk about the fact that CBS. I'm sorry. Yeah, that the FCC, excuse me, fined CBS five hundred and fifty thousand dollars for this breast is coming out on that performance. All right. And we all thought that was a big deal only for that $550,000 fine that CBS uh, that was put on them. It was thrown out in court. So CBS never lost a dollar over the breast assist that came out. But Janet lost a whole lot. Now, she didn't lose no but black folks. We didn't give a damn. We wanted to see her breast assist. All right. You know. Hell, really, what no white men mad? You know, y'all might pretend to be mad, but y'all ain't never mad at seeing no black titties. Let's 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 stop. I didn't been I didn't been to a few strip joints in my time. I ain't never seen a like a white man at a naked black woman. I just haven't. And so y'all and, and Janet was in her prime back then. So you know, it, 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 I don't know what her body looked like now, but I'm saying then, you know. I'm just saying, all right. And so Janet really caught the brunt of it. 
You stood by and let her and went about your business using Negroes like y'all always do. And so now you want to come out and apologize. And to me, the only thing I can think of is clout. We don't want it. We don't care. You didn't got enough from us. So go about your business and do what you do. Do what you do. You won, Justin. You got away scot-free. Now you want to come out and still get some clout off of the, uh, off the pain you was complicit in. It wasn't on purpose, but you damn sure didn't stand up for her. You damn sure didn't. And you wasn't villainized the way that she was. It was a different time. Nowadays, people put out full sex tapes and to, to promote their album. Back then, it just went like that, all right? I'm going to play this Mercer here, and then I'll be back to say questions, comments, and concerns before we out, because uh, Love and Marriage is coming. Are you ready to be liberated? Have you found that you and your partner's love life is boring and you need a boost? Then I got the perfect book for you. While we all lock down on this COVID quarantine, go ahead to Amazon and cop Erotic Liberations. And oh yes, it's very erotic. See, Erotic Liberations is so steamy that it was banned on Facebook and it will take you to a climax that you have never reached before. See, Erotic Liberations makes Fifty Shades of Grey seem like a Dr. Seuss book. It will enhance your creativity, entertain you, and help to raise that freak number. You know, we all want to find our inner freak, you know, that person that we got locked away in a cage, all right? And Erotic Liberations is guaranteed to blow your mind so that you and your partner can blow each other all night. Head to Amazon right now and get Erotic Liberations, authored by Marlon Green and Karen Crane.